So Webb Benninghoven, you were mentioning, and I was saying how I had worked under Scott Fisher over at the um, old Harley dealership, then went over to Sun Sports. Then I met Webb Benninghoven when yeah. I started working over at Stu's Indian Triumph. And for those of you who don't know, he was a big part of why BMW actually started taking off in this area. When he worked over at Gulf Coast, he was the manager there, um, and he bumped their numbers way up. Um, and I learned a lot underneath him. And then as the world turns, he is no longer a part of that organization because they sold to another organization. And he went over to Manfred at House of yes. Strikes and is now his basically business manager. I don't know what the exact title is, but he's the guy that talks to the dealerships on behalf of Revaco Trikes, right. um, which is really great because now I get to work with him again yes. loosely because he's doing something um, very specific to his position. I do something very specific to mine, but I do do a lot of the photography for them. So I have done some photo shoots for the Revaco Trikes and I will be doing more in the future oh, as well. That's amazing. I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, so that it's kind of nice. cool. Yeah, yeah, so I need a new cover. <laughs> I'm your guy. No they're, problem. They're the, they're the next ones and I would love to have, you know, where the, the team has grown for, sure. for um, you know, House of Trikes and Bikes. So I would definitely love to have their whole team together. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, that would be very I'm cool. sure that's not a problem. Yeah, that's I'm amazing. actually, well, they're closed today because it's Monday and they will yeah. open traditional motorcycle store hours. But I've got to go pick up the um, battery for one of my Harley Davidsons yeah. from them. So I'm going to go see J-Dub and Andy and Manfred and all the guys. Yeah, so. th they should actually be uh, chucking it up to uh, Sturgis. So they've not only got Sturgis, they also have another event coming up in the lakes of the Ozarks, um, oh, specifically yeah. for Avaco. So they've got a lot of stuff on their wow. plate, which they always do. If you know Manfred yeah. and his team, they were the ones when we used to have the old Fort Myers downtown bike nights right. that would just bring out the huge semi truck and the yes. big display and all hands on deck. The last time I saw them at Cape Coral bike night, they had the um, replica chopper from Easy Rider. They have yes. just, just some amazing stuff that they bring out to these right. events. And they were a big inspiration for me, even though I didn't actually work with them at that time. When I was working at Harley, I was always watching what they were doing and saying, okay, maybe not on that scale because I'm not there yet, but I can do what they're doing. And so they were always a big motivating factor for me. Yeah, that's so cool. It is cool. It is. Yeah, because if Manfred, if you're listening into this, <laughs> he's probably on an 18-wheeler right now. Yeah, with all probably. The bikes, with all the Rubacos yeah. in the truck heading on his way to Sturges, which he drives. So that's like 30-something hours yeah. to actually get there from by, you know, by yeah. the 18-wheeler. So that is just amazing. So yeah, so tell me, like, uh, with your photography, sure. where did the girls come from? <laughs> okay, everybody wants to know about the girls yeah. because it just seems like, like, like I can pull them like rabbits out of a hat. <laughs> so years like and years and years ago, when I was a lowly salesperson who knew nothing about the industry at Harley Davidson back at Six Bends, they started doing like bikini bike washes and events like that. Yeah. And there was no one really photographing the event, so nobody outside of the event knew what was happening. And yeah. it just was like a light bulb in my head. I said, well if we shot some pictures and posted them on the internet of what a great time we had, people that weren't here would say, wow, we missed a really great time. We want to come to the next one. Sure. And so I literally just went to 7-Eleven, which was um, around the corner back then. I think we took the little John Deere Gator from Harley and cruised over there. But like a $9.99 selfie stick, it was like pink or yellow or green. They had a bucket of them in the front attached it to my cell phone camera and started snapping pictures. Oh. And so then the girl started seeing my pictures and saying, hey, would you mind sending me that picture? And so that's how we got to know each other better because when you're a salesperson at Harley, you don't have time to really enjoy the event. Sure. So now I am the person they feel comfortable working with. Most all of their husbands or boyfriends are comfortable with me because they know who I am. They know I've known them sure. in some instances longer than they have. Wow. Um, and they understand that it's going to be always professional and courteous sure. and polite. And I put them at ease. Right. So sure enough, that's why when yeah. someone says, hey, can you get three girls for bikini car wash or bikini right. bike wash? I'm like, yeah, no problem. And I can right. reach out and I can get those girls. So Yeah, it's always been for professional. And that's the way it, that it really needs to be because, you know, I mean, if if you if you bring it to a different level you, you have to make it professional so that you can do your job right it's you know sometimes people don't consider it to be you know your career or your profession right you know because it looks like so much fun yeah so, and, and that's another thing <laughs> right? um that's what's me too you know like with yeah, the biker mouth you know everybody's like, oh you must be you know doing this or going to bike night and everything which i love to promote bike nights and everything you know um, but you're I always thinking like a businesswoman, out. right? Yeah, of I gotta course. get the word out. I want to yes. help small business. I wanna, I wanna help small business, and I really love my community. Sure. And, uh, that's like when I'm I get a about. haircut, I just had my hair um, dyed recently. It looks and I amazing, well, by the way. Thank you, thank I, you. I watched that on Facebook. That's <laughs> thanks to Ratchet Rosie, Rosie oh, Rose. Okay. Um, 
primping ain't easy on Instagram. And and so I didn't even have to think about it. On the way there, okay. I, I shot a quick little bit of a video clip that yeah. said, hey, I'm gonna go get a haircut. I, don't, I only get like one haircut a year. And if that's if that, I usually just cut my own hair. Um, and it wasn't like I really had to think about it. I'm like, of course, she's yeah. a friend. Right. And she's a, an independent businesswoman in the community trying to make a name for herself and trying to get clients. Right. Why wouldn't I take a little time out of my day to just shoot a quick video Shot a video before, during, and then yes. after, mashed it together using a little editing software, threw it on the internet, and if it brings her some business, right. great, yeah, exactly. wonderful. So yeah, even mm -hmm. though I'm having fun and I'm doing things, I'm always thinking like, how can I help somebody else or yeah. help myself? Because let's be honest, right. I'm also helping myself because if her business takes off, she's going to hopefully hire me, yeah. Rosie. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, so um, definitely. We are so looking forward to Friday night. I mean, it's, yeah, it's going to be a good we. time. And definitely, uh, Von Baron Motorcycles, they're located at 16770 Link Court, uh, Suite 105 and 106. You're not going to be able to miss it when you get here on Friday <laughs> because yeah. there's going to be food trucks, you know. Food know trucks, they, DJ will be going. We'll DJ. have tents set up with vendors. Um, we'll have exclusive motorcycle only parking as we always do because motorcycles first. Yeah. Um, but there'll still be plenty of parking for the cagers as well. We understand that everybody can jump on two wheels. And some people like to bring their families to these events because they are family friendly. I can't stress that in enough um with slang be death whether we're here at von baron or somewhere else we don't do the high heel bikini washes we don't do that okay. stuff it's always sneakers it's always family friendly it's always oh, toned okay. down a little bit um and we pride ourselves on that yeah. um, my ego doesn't allow for it because i always look at it this way if it's super scandalous and super skimpy well anybody right. can do that sure so if you notice my photography it's it's always i try to keep it sexy but classy i don't yes. want to ever have a picture posted that you can't show your mom right that's what we always say well that's amazing yeah. too see again that that uh you know it, the the business aspect of that it carries a long way yeah it certainly we feel does. that way and that's yeah. why i work with chris and that's right. why i work with manfred exactly. and that's why i work with webb I work with the people that think along the same lines. They don't have to be exact carbon copies of each other, sure. but we have the same ethics. We have the same morals. We're like, hey, we can be sexy without being cheap. Right. We exactly. can be classy and yeah. still turn heads. Right. Yeah, so. because you actually were a great um, support when I first started the Biker Map. And uh, we had a dear friend of ours, Dana, that passed away, Dana Wilkinson. Yeah. And we had an amazing party that we happened did. at the um, at the old uh, oh my gosh it ragged was ass saloon ragged ass right? i was trying to think of the name yeah, yeah, ragged yeah. Ass saloon. and i think that was my first time there oh, i've heard okay. a lot about it because yeah. of course every biker in the area knew right. the ragged ass saloon but i hadn't personally made the ride out there right. and we did we yeah. grabbed we grabbed a bunch of people um i think jenny hitch who now is going to work at the new indian dealership and was okay. working at the time I can't wait to somewhere see that else shop. and then worked at power lot. so she's another up-and-coming okay. star in the area when it comes to power sports um her and a bunch of our friends and we all rode up there together and right. you were there and yeah, yeah it was yeah awesome. so so now you know pine island was a little damaged from the storm so of course. the ragged ass is no longer existing unfortunately but now there is a uh, jug creek which i have to make it out to again yes. i just don't get out as often as i'd like to because you know, I might have to introduce you to a couple people because what Jug Creek is doing is they are having holding concerts on Fridays and Saturday nights. 